Good evening everybody and welcome back to World of Warplanes with myself, Elplates. Um, this will be episode 8. Um, before we get into the plane that I'm going to be using tonight, um, I was sent a message uh, via the YouTube channel to um, as a reply to one of the um, past uh, videos that I did. In his, it was um, about the kill marks on the planes. And the reply was sent by Crazy, um, who's also involved in the closed beta at the moment. And he said, kill planes do exist on um, all the planes. And he sent me a bit of a, a breakdown that he knows of. Um, so on the US planes, he's, t he's told me that... Um, it will be a white plane for air-to-air -air kills, i.e. the mark here, um, just in front of the cockpit, and a bomb mark for um, ground kills. Um, the first mark you get um, for one kill, the second mark, so if you get ten kills, you'll get a second plane. Um, a third mark is 50 kills, fourth 200, fifth 500, 6, 2007 is 10,000 um, kills. If I ever see anybody with 7 kill marks, they will be my hero. And that, again, that's the same for the bombs. So for the US, it's always around the um, the cockpit area. And it's a plane for air-to-air -air kills and a bomb for um, ground targets. And he says for the Soviets which I can't really show you because I've never flown <laughs> a Soviet plane. It's basically a red star for air-to-air -air kills, a bomb for ground kills, um, and it's located around the same area um, as the Americans. Now, the Germans. Um, let's find one that's got both. There we go. Um the Germans, it's a white and black stripe for air-to-air -air kills and a yellow and black stripe for um, ground kills. And again, it's the same numbers. Um, first mark is one kill, second mark, ten kills, third mark, fifty, fourth, two hundred, so on. And, uh, and so on. Now, the Japanese yellow star for air to air kills and I've never managed to take out um, a bomber but he's not actually in his reply I don't see what it is for a ground kill um, so as soon as I know that I suppose I can pull that in another in another video I just thought I'd cover that um, it, it was quite interesting to me to understand and know what they are what I'll do is I'll put that information that I have there and I'll find out the full information for the um, Chinese kill marks and, and I'll add that in and I'll put it in the description of the um, video below so okay tonight's video um, last video we was in this plane here and um, the AGO AO um, 192 tier 2 heavy fighter for the Germans now I ranked that up and I gained enough experience for the next plane which is the FW57 tier 3 heavy fighter now I purchased this bought it went back to my hangar got to my hangar and I saw this monster <laughs> monster of a plane it's a different um, paint scheme. I just used the exterior and, and repainted it and put some things on. But the size of this thing just made me think, whoa. <laughs> From that to that. Now I'm not zoomed I'm not zoomed in. So I can zoom in on there. I'm zoomed fully out. Bam. The size of this was like crazy you can't even get it in full view um 
monster, monster of a plane. Let's have a quick look at the information. Now, before I do that, modules, I've got this fully ranked up. Um, what you, it will come with is um, a 640 horsepower um, engine. Um, it comes with two 7.92 millimeter MG17 um, forward guns. So for your front gunner, your rear gunner will come with a 7.92 millimeter MG15, and you don't get any bombs. Um, now I have upgraded to the top engine, which has given me um, a thousand horsepower. So that's a massive step up. You know what's that? That's um, 360 60 extra horsepower. You need it to f to get this plane moving. Um, the front guns, it was. I've upgraded it, and it's now two times twenty millimeter MG FFs. Another huge step, and again, another big jump for the guns from a seven point nine two millimeter for the rear gunner to a twenty millimeter again. And now I've also got um, six bombs, um, a hundred kilo bombs. You get six of them um, per game. It's it's an absolute monster don't get me wrong it flies like a big plane um, as you will see um, in the videos but what a plane I've had so much fun flying this um, in the I think it's about eight battles or something I've had some some real good fun so enough of me blabbering on um, I didn't actually take a look fully at the stats, did I? Well, we'll take a quick look at the stats from here. Hit points, you get 250. That is a big chunk of hit points. But again, as I said with the um, the Tier 2 heavy fighter for the Germans, you need those hit points. The slow, clumbersome planes to, to get around. You try and get somebody off your tail, you have to rely on that rear gunner. And when it's what I found is when I had the 7.92mm gun, I couldn't rely on the gunner. He, he wasn't hardly putting any damage down. But since I got the 20mm, I have a little bit more faith. He's managing to take some planes down. So that that's a good thing. But you still you do need those hit points. Um, firepower 106. How they work this, I'm not too sure. Airspeed 358. But you turn, you lose that quickly. So you have to be able to get away and try re regain some, some airspeed. Maneuverability 183. Um, not the best and obviously it's showing my guns and my engines and everything that I've upgraded to um, I'll just have a quick look at the in, the full information for the airspeed I'm interested to see what it takes on a 360 degree turn um, maneuverability is under isn't it rate of roll 60 360 degrees 26 seconds now that's not bad the the plane prior is exactly the well, well they're virtually the same for the tier 2 it's 26.8 considering this is a much bigger plane but again thinking about it I don't know if that 26 seconds is due to the engine size I have which is the upgraded it may be slightly slower for the the um, the stock engine that you get with it so anyway and um, that's covered most of um, the plane information so without further ado um, I'll shut up talking and boring you to death and uh, we'll go and have a quick uh, a quick game okay just before we start um, the radar up on the right hand side just to the left of the enemy forces I didn't have that before crazy also told me if you go to your settings battle instrumentation tick the radar area and you will get the radar appearing um, up there so crazy thanks again um, for sharing um, the information with me okay so we're on El Halouf I'm gonna head over to the harbour area um, and see if I can get some bombs off. Good hunting. And also possibly do some damage onto um, some of the enemy aircraft. Also, don't forget, you guys, that um, that when you are 
planning to drop your bombs, you can press the shift key and it'll put you into the bomb view so you can see your um, bomb reticle a little bit better. So I'm going to head straight for this target here whilst I've got a bit of cover. Try and get this radar station taken out. I think it's a radar station anyway. Let's see if I can make a bit of a turn to get this. No, I'm not going to turn quick enough. I'm not getting stuck into all of them on my own yet. Ground target destroyed. Do I have a tail? Not the minute. Let's try and get this bird turned around. I'm not too worried about the fighters. I want to get some of these ground targets taken out. people on me now. Let's try and get this taken out. Enemy base destroyed. Enemy anti-aircraft fire lost accuracy. Now I need to get out of here. Ground target destroyed. Now I'm taking an absolute kick in. Don't run me. Come on, I need some backup, boys. Need some backup. Where are you all? Where are they? I'm trying to run to them. Come on, guys. Come and help me. The engine is damaged. Unable to boost. See, at this point, I cannot get them off my tail. So I'm just running to my guys for a bit of cover. Come on guys, I'm over here. Come to me, come to me. The engine is holding together, but don't push it. Come get him off my tail. First enemy destroyed. My tail gonna just manage to get one there. Come on, I haven't got much left. Get him off me. Get him off me. He's the last one. Woohee! My tail gonna got him. As you can see, as I was saying before. Um, absolute nightmare. You've got him on your tail. You've got to rely on your gunner. You need to get um, the rear gunner's gun as quickly as possible upgraded to that 20mm. If I didn't have that, they would have an absolutely annihilated me. He would not have scratched him with that 7... Well, he would have done some damage with the 7.92. But he probably wouldn't have took him down. Um, they'd have taken me down first. So I feel, you know, that is a must. Get your guns upgraded as soon as possible. Even before you get your bombs, in my eyes. If you get that gun on your front, you can fly head on and you'll just tear him to shreds. Um... That is the first two that I did. Then I got the bomb, and then I did the uh, did the engine last. But yeah, absolutely brilliant plane. Probably um, one of my favourites so far. Um, I didn't think I'd actually enjoy these heavy fighters because they are cumbersome. But you can get in there, you can wreck havoc to the enemy ground targets, and you have enough hit points to get out, fly to your guys if you've picked up tails survive till you get there as you just saw and your guys start picking on them always keep the enemy behind you if you because you what if, if they've come in behind you you're not going to be able to get round on them quick enough to put your front guns on them so always keep your back to them make sure your rear gunner's got something to shoot at and cross your fingers that he actually puts enough damage down and nails them um for you so 
Okay, guys, that's um, episode eight over and done with. Um, the close beta um, is getting close, so all planes, I believe, are going to be getting reset. But we're going to have so many more people um, to be able to test this game out with, um, and it, it's going to be fun. So if you're not in the close beta, um, keep your eyes open. Second of July, um, I believe, is when it's meant to be going ahead. And being opened up to everybody who wants to give it a go okay so that's it thanks for watching everybody if you've enjoyed the video please give it a like even better subscribe to the channel it'll give you notifications of when i next put up a video um so yeah that's it have fun everybody l plates signing out